The Miami Cubans fixed the 2000 presidential election. When the Clinton Gore administration sent Elian Gonzalez back to Cuba with his father, the Miami Cubans all decided to vote Republican and fixed the election in Dade County, Florida. The Miami Cubans were expert at fixing elections when they lived in Cuba and put Batista in office. You couldn't take your children to a hospital in Cuba if you didn't vote for Batista. And Castro got rid of Batista and the Mafia in Cuba, and now Cuba has free, free health care, 99% literacy, no homelessness, no alcoholism, and stands sentinel against the drug trade in the Caribbean, which is run out of Jamaica, by the way. Cuba executes drug lords and pedophiles, if the victim of the pedophilia dies or is given an STD, the pedophile is executed. It also quarantines its aid patients so they can't affect the blood supply. Al Gore would have been the greenest president we ever had, and you can thank the Miami Cubans for Iraq. Rehnquist, by the way, was a Nixon appointee, a Nixon whitewashed Nazi backgrounds to get them jobs from the CIA. Rehnquist selected W as president. The one man decided the 2000 election. There should be a full-blown congressional investigation of the 2000 election and how the Miami Cubans fixed it. And we should pass a law saying they should never be able to go back to Cuba.